Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. Today's quick tip is a continuation from last week where we made a custom pen liner to match the notepad. And I promised you how easy it was that I was going to teach you the notepad today. So if you're back again to watch, welcome. And if it's your first time, I'm glad that you're here. You're going to find all the cutting dimensions for today's project over on my blog. And if you're here from YouTube, all you have to do is click on that I and it'll navigate you right to the blog post for today, making it really easy for you to find everything. This is a junior size legal pad. You can purchase them everywhere, even um, big box discount stores. I've cut my paper just slightly longer and wider than what we're going to need. I'm going to be creating some score lines and there are score lines to the right of of the trimmer with Stampin' Up as well, of course, to the left. I love the clear cutting groove, makes it really easy to see. So I'm gonna do the first one at one inch, which is right here, and I'm gonna line my paper up against that groove to make it nice and straight. The clear blade is for scoring, so I'm gonna score it one inch, and I'm gonna slide all the way over here to the end. This is actually one and one quarter. So I'm gonna score there as well. So I know it's gonna be difficult to see, but we've got a small quarter inch margin here at the top, which is going to compensate for this at the top of the notepad. I like my tear and tape for this project because you know whoever you give this to is actually going to use it quite a bit. So I'm gonna put a piece here and I'm gonna put a piece on the back. And love that you can rip it. You don't even need to use your scissors. I am now reaching for my paper piercing tool to help me get that paper backing off and I'm gonna take it off the front as well. And I wanna make sure I'm not laying it down on my surface, otherwise obviously it's going to stick. So I'm gonna shimmy this into here. So I want this up inside the ledge at the top, and I'm gonna make sure that I've got a little cardstock on each side, and I'm gonna fold right on those crease lines. All right, so this is the front and this is the back, and then I'm gonna press. All right, so there is the base. Now, I told you that was easy. I've cut a piece of designer paper. I've got the cutting dimensions for this too over on my blog. I'm using my snail adhesive to mount it onto the base of my tablet. And then I'm gonna primarily look to line it up here at the bottom. I wanna leave a border all the way around. The top half here, in just a minute, we are going to cover that. I've cut an additional piece of designer series paper. Rather than score it, I cheated. I kind of pitched it in half to kind of get an idea where the middle is. And then I laid it on the top and I decided about where I wanted it. I put a piece of tear and tape right across here at the top in that margin and I ripped and I pressed, which is called burnishing it, into the paper so that when I take off the paper top, the tape doesn't come off with it. So now I've got a really, real sticky top here. Again, here we've got our halfway point. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna look and see if I've got my edges covered, which it looks like I do, and I'm gonna press. So now that's stuck. Now here's where I cheated. I flipped it over and I used my bone folder and I scored right along the edge of that binding of the junior size legal pad, which gave me that score line that I needed. So let me pick this up and show you. So here, all I did was I scored it. So I've got my score line and I'm just creasing across the back. And then I'm gonna grab another piece of tear and tape and I'm gonna lay that across the back here and the exact same thing. I've burnished it down and now I'm releasing the paper backing and I'm gonna just stretch this and pull this down. So now the back is finished as well. So there you go, I told you that was easy. Here's the one that I finished with a small greeting embellishment on the front and the pen that I showed you last week how to make. And of course, got another one for this gift here. With the holidays coming up, these are gonna be great quick gifts for the people in your office, neighbors, um, friends, and family members, something they can use. Thanks so much for watching me, everyone. Make sure you go over to my blog, clicking that I button here at the top will take you and get you all the cutting dimensions for today's project. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.